Hi all and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. Today is a stitch day. In today's tutorial I am going to show you how to crochet this very easy and beautiful granny stripe stitch. So for today's tutorial I will be using these two beautiful colors. You can use any yarn you like and also the recommended hook size for it. I will be using 5 mm hook. The weight of this yarn is a aran weight yarn or also known as a worsted weight yarn. So I'll be using this grey one and also this dark pink color or raspberry color so you will need a hook and the pair of scissors so first we are going to start with a slip knot hold your yarn and like so and wrap it around your two fingers to create a cross Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and release. And this is your slip knot. So this stitch works with multiple of three. So when I say multiple of three, you will chain one, two, Three. So you have three and again one, two and three. You have six, one, two and three. You have nine, one, two and three. You have twelve. So you will work as many as you need any multiple of three for your project. So for today's sample piece, I chain 27, so multiple of 3. Once you have your multiple of 3, you will add one more chain. So chain one more. Once you have it, we are going to work double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So 1, 2, three and four and into this fourth one you will place double crochet to do so you are going to yarn over insert like so yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so we have one, two, double crochet, and we need to do one more into the same place, like so. So we have three double crochet into the same stitch because these skip chains at the start will behave as your first double crochet. So we created our first cluster like so. Every time we say cluster, it means three double crochet into the same stitch. Next, we are going to skip two chains, one and two. Into the third chain, you will place three double crochet. So create another cluster. So one double crochet, second double crochet into the same stitch, and one more, all three double crochet into the same stitch. So we have our second cluster completed, like so. So we place three double crochet into the same stitch. So we have one and two clusters. And again, you are going to skip two chains 
and into the third one you will place three double crochet again to create your next cluster so one double crochet second one into the same stitch and the third one into the same stitch like so skip two chains one and two and into the third one place three double crochet one two and three and you have completed your another cluster like so so continue working like so all the way across and this is my sample piece only but you could go as wide as you like for your project just make sure you have any multiple of three plus one so we are going to continue we are going to skip two chains and work three double crochet into the third one like so so we have one two and three skip next two chains and place your three double crochet again to create another cluster one two and three skip two chains one two and into the next work three double crochet again one two and three and that's what we have so far so I am nearly at the end, I'm going to skip two chains again, work my cluster or three double crochet into the same stitch and skip two chains and into the last one, work your last cluster or three double crochet into the same stitch like so, so one, two and three. And this is your row one completed. Now we are going to chain three. One, two and three like so. Turn your work. So for this row two, you will work into those spaces. So you will have your space here. And into those spaces you will work three double crochet so for this row two you will ignore the chain of three at the start and you will work three double crochet into this very first space like so to create your very first cluster so at the start of this row two you will have a little loop like so and you will have it every even a row exactly the same so every other row you will start exactly the same so now you will work in each space across so you have space here 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 and here so into those spaces you will work a cluster and once you get to the end i show you how to finish it so find the next space and work three double crochet or your next cluster like so so i have one two and three double crochet into the same space find the next space and work three double crochet again so one two and three like so so one cluster second and third one is completed and you will simply continue working in each space across placing your clusters so into the next space work free double crochet like so
And as you can see, I am at the end and I have lost space to work. So I will place my free double crochet into that last space. And now we are here at the end. As you remember, we skipped this few chains at the start. So on top of the chain, you will work double crochet like so. So simply at the top like this, work your double crochet. And this is how you're gonna finish every other row. So every even row you will finish exactly the same. So chain three and turn your work. As you can see, we have chain of three here and under the chain of three is a space. So chain of three and space is right under. So in this row three, you will count this chain of three as your first double crochet and you will place two more double crochet into this very first space. So one and one more. But you will have altogether three double crochet because we will count this first chain of three as your first double crochet. And this is your row three. So you will repeat it like so every other row you will start like this. So for this granny stripe you will repeat row two and three for the rest of your project. Now you will work cluster in all these spaces again all the way across. So space here, here, here and you will work your last cluster under this loop at the end, right here. So let's place our next cluster into the next space, which is this one here. So work your free double crochet into the next space, so one, two, and three, like so, into the next one, one, two, and three into the next space, place three double crochet, one, two and three, like this. So continue all the way across. And I am finishing here, I'm placing my cluster here and I will place my last cluster under this loop here. So three double crochet to finish this row three. So place three double crochet under this loop at the end, which we created in a row two. So one, two and three double crochet. And we have just finished row three like so. Now for row four, we are going to chain three again. And we are going to start this row four exactly the same way as we started our row two. So as I said, every even row, you will start exactly the same with the chain of three. Then you skip that first cluster and you will work three double crochet into your very first space like so. So three double crochet, three double crochet into the next space like so. So you created this tiny little loop for this row four exactly the same way as we done it in row two. So every even row you will have this tiny little loop at the start. So continue placing clusters in each space across. Once you are at the end, I show you how to finish this row four. So we will work double crochet on top of this chain. Three, two, 
chain so continue placing clusters in each space across And now I am finishing a D04 and I have cluster here and then on top of this last double crochet right here you will work double crochet on top like so. Now chain free and turn your work. And now we are ready to start row 5. So for row 5 you will repeat row 3. So every odd row you will start exactly the same. You will work 2 more double crochet into this very first space under the chain of 3. So you will work 2 more double crochet like so. And the chain of three will count as your first double crochet right here. Okay. Now you can continue for as many rows as you like for your project. I am going to finish this row with you and then I show you how to change the color. So I am finishing here and as you can see I am going to work my last cluster under this loop here and now I'm going to change the color. Now chain one and fasten off. Leave this yarn and longer so you can hide it later on. And this is my row 5, so it's my odd row. In each odd row, you will end up with a cluster. So I will show you how to change the color in odd row and also how to change the color in even row later on. So first, we finished in row 5, so it's my odd row. So you will end up with the cluster like so. So this one is very easy. You will simply insert your hook on top of your last double crochet where you fastened off. Bring your new yarn through like this and make a knot. The yarn end should be long enough so you can hide it later on. Now insert your hook into the same place where you attached your new yarn like so and chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 like this and turn your work. Now skip your first cluster and repeat row 2 where you have this loop at the start. So skip your first cluster and work into very first space your first cluster like so. Now you are going to continue working as always so you will place cluster in each space across to finish this row. So I have one last cluster left to do so one, two and three double crochet and now I will place my double crochet on top of this double crochet here like so. So make sure you are at the top and place your double crochet like this. Chain three and turn your work. And now, as you can see, we are going to repeat row 3, where we have chain of 3 and then that space right under. So in that space, you will work 
two more double crochet one two to create your first cluster and the chain at the start is counting as your first double crochet and you will work double crochet all the way across once you come to that loop at the end you work your last cluster right there so i am finishing here i have this loop here and i will work my cluster like so and this row is my odd row as you can see because we finished a with cluster like we finished right here so i will do one more row because i want to show you how to change the color in an even row as well where you have the loop at the end so i will do one more row with this color and then i will show you how to change it for that different one in the even row so chain three skip this first cluster so leave this chain at the start like so so you will have this loop as we are starting even a row as we remembered every even row will start with this loop at the start so now we'll be placing again cluster in each space across and in this row which is our even row i will show you how to change the color at the end so i am finishing here as you can see and i will work my last cluster like so one two and three and now at the top of this double crochet i will start to work my double crochet like so yarn over so just make sure you go right at the top so insert your hook yarn over and bring it through now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through first two loops now you have two loops on your hook now you can cut your yarn and like so leave it a little bit longer and bring your new yarn now place it on your hook like this and pull through those two loops like so now tighten those two ends like this make sure it's nice and tight and chain three one two and three now once you chain three you can tie these two ends together you can do one knot or two it's totally up to you once you have those knots you will hide those ends later on so we chain three and now we are going to turn our work and we will continue as we did before so now we will start our row again so we already know how to do it we will start with two more double crochet as this chain of three is behaving as our first double crochet so we will work two more to create our first cluster and then we will simply work one cluster in each space across so you will repeat row two and three for your project for as long as you need so i showed you how to change the color in the odd row when you finish with the cluster at the end and also i showed you how to change the color in the even row when you had that loop at the end so you will simply continue on your project for as long as you like and also you can create the width as wide as you like as you remember any multiple of three plus one so i will finish this row with you like so so under this loop here i will create my last cluster like so chain three and turn my work 
and repeat as we did before. So this is it. This is our stitch of the day. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. This stitch is amazing. You can use it for blankets, hats, scarves, ponchos, cardigans and many many other projects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like it, share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel Unique Stitch Designs and of course you can find me on social medias. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.